brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Former Jonia Mayor Jesse Mingiola Blas' sentencing hearing resumed this morning with defense counsel Joseph Rosano cross-examining the government's confidential informant, Brenda Kinian. According to KUAM archives, Kinian entered a guilty plea in September 2018. She testified in court Tuesday that she was charged with extortion by wrongful use of threatened force, violence, or fear, and aiding and abetting extortion under pretense of office and employment. Kinian, along with two unnamed associates, stole $450,000 from the Ahn family in Agate. She testified in one month they conspired to steal $75,000 from the Ahn family. The trio told the victims they were protecting them from burglary and further lied with telling them they had an FBI connection to guard them. Additionally, Kinian testified they tried to get the Ahn family to sign a deed of all their Agate property to her. According to the plea agreement, the Ahns owned and operated a market in Agate. In April 2018, there were several robberies at the convenience store while the Ahns were present. In one incident, Mrs. Ahns chin was cut by a robber. Documents state Kinian lived behind the market and promised protection for the family. From April 28, 2017 to May 31, 2018, Kinian and others took advantage of the Ahns' fear and trauma from the robbery. When the 39-year-old returns in district court for her own sentencing hearing, she faces a maximum penalty of 20 years behind bars and to pay the $450,000 in restitution to the victims. Hoping for a more lenient sentencing recommendation, Kinian began cooperating with the feds. She posed as a drug trafficker in Bloss's federal case. According to court documents, various motions to continue a status hearing for Kinian was made because the defendant continues to assist the government in ongoing investigations with the FBI and other federal law enforcement agencies involving public corruption and narcotics trafficking. This to include Kinian testifying in Bloss's case. Bloss, who is also facing a maximum imprisonment term of 20 years for pleading guilty to one count of extortion. He was arrested in September 2019 for allowing drug trafficking through village mailboxes in exchange for bribes. Through Kinian, the Fed set up controlled phone calls and meetings involving discussions of drug purchases and arranged money transactions all of which were under electronic surveillance and recorded by the FBI. Rosano heavily questioned Kinian on these cooperation arrangements made with the feds. Kinian testified a female FBI agent searched her each time after meeting with the ex-mayor and stated the feds took photos of the money they gave her to pay Mr. Bloss. This included a December 2018 meeting when Kinian paid Bloss $5,000 and he handed her back $100. Another instance of a payment of $4,000 to Bloss. During Assistant U.S. Attorney Laura Sambataro's redirect, evidence from a March 21, 2019 phone call indicated that Bloss threatened to close the mailbox if he did not receive his payment. During the call, Kinian asked Bloss to leave it open, stating he has already received $10,000, yet he denied her request. He told her he needed the money for his medical and has no choice but to shut it down. Further, Bloss said he would reopen the box once he gets the money. The sentencing is anticipated to continue through Thursday, January 14th. As for Kinian's case, a seventh motion for continuance sets her next court appearance for February 11th.